Okay, so today we're going to be, or this week, we're going to be drawing the mouth. So things that you want to be looking for when you're looking at your reference photo. The first is, like all of the facial features, the mouth is going to look drastically different. And it's going to be drawn drastically different depending on the angle that we're looking at the person from. So in this angle, we're looking at the person straight on and they are looking straight ahead. So stereotypically, the upper lip is normally going to be noticeably smaller than the bottom lip, but not always, especially with some ethnicities, the, the upper and the lower lip are going to be closer to the same size. So that's something that you want to pay attention to is the size difference between the two. Notice the trough, that space in between the nose and the upper lip. Um, it is going to take place right above the dip in the upper lip, and the dip in the upper lip is very noticeable on most people. You want to make sure that when you are drawing the trough that you're actually representing it with shading and not with lines. Remember, with all of the facial features, we want to represent them with our values and our shading and not with lines. Um, the lips are round. And so the shading is going to be really important. It's the lip is going to be, this bottom lip is going to be darkest down here, gets lightest in the middle. And then as it goes into the mouth with this, with this pierced lip, closed mouth uh, look that she has, it's going to get darker as it goes in. Um, if you're trying to show an expression, that is always going to take place at the corners of the mouth. So you want to notice, are they going up? Are they going down? Are they going straight out? Sometimes one will be going one direction and the other will be going the other. So that's something that you want to pay attention to. As you're shading the mouth today, I want you to shade not only the mouth, but the skin that's around it, the trough area, the cheeks on the side of it, the chin underneath it, um, basically this whole area so that we're also practicing shading the skin. From this angle, notice that we are on the side. Their, their head is turned, but we are also on the side of them. Um, and so the dip in the upper lip is not as noticeable for this person. Also, their upper and their lower lip are a lot closer to the same size. Um, this is something that happens a lot, this highlight that's basically right above the upper lip. You'll find that a lot of the times when you draw the mouth. Um, one thing that you want to be careful with when you're doing your shading is these creases and these highlights in the lip. Uh, if you're not careful, it can really quickly start to look like the person has really bad chap lips. And so a lot of times I will either ignore them or I will only draw the really brightest ones, the ones that stand out the most. Now, yeah, the other thing I want you to notice from this angle is on this left side, we can see the bottom lip, like the bottom edge of it comes up and, and touches the edge of where the upper lip is. But on this side, we can't see that because of this angle. It's kind of like coming in and then we can see some shading that's on the face behind it. Um, so for that, you would just try not to think about what it is and focus more on the shading. Uh, more stereotypical view. Straight, kind of like a straight on view with this person. Um, the lower lip and the upper lip are almost the same size. They definitely have a smile going. Notice that the corners of the mouths are going up on both sides. And then uh, notice all of these little like creases in the upper lip. You would really want to be careful with that. Uh, like I said, it can, it can start to look like they just have really bad chap lips really fast. Um, and another one. Oops. Oops. There we 
scale. And then another straight on view. Uh, notice that the upper lip is noticeably smaller than the lower lip. That dip in the upper lip is very noticeable. Um, I want to pay attention to, to this angle here on both sides and then this curve. You really, if you want it to look like a specific person, you have to get the basic shape of the mouth very accurate. Otherwise, it's going to look like a human. It might look like a man. It might look like a woman, but it's not going to look like that specific person. So you really want to pay attention to the size and the shape of the mouth. When I get ready to draw the mouth, when I'm drawing a portrait, I will have already drawn the eyes and the nose. And so if I was actually drawing a portrait, I'm going to use the eyes as a way to help me line up how wide the nose is. So notice, sorry, how wide the mouth is. Notice if I draw an imaginary line, basically from the middle of this iris straight down, that's where the corner of the mouth is going to be. And on this side, looks like it's the inside of the iris straight down. That's where that corner of the mouth is going to be. So that can help me correctly and proportionately draw the size of my mouth <clears throat> before I start to shade it. Um, so this week you're going to be drawing and shading one mouth in your sketchbook. Remember not only the mouth, but the skin that is around it, all the skin that's around it. And then remember to upload your drawings sometime this week on Google Classroom. You go to Classwork and then you go to the assignment for that week. And then there's a folder with your name and that's where you want to upload your drawing. Hope you have fun with this. Let me know on the stream if you have any questions. Talk to you later.